Hello, my name is Swasti Verma with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how to display VLAN interface and port information in wireless LAN 8100 controller from CLI. First, we will go into the command line interface of the controller and issue the command EN to get into the privilege mode. Once in privilege mode, we will issue the command show VLAN interface info. This command will display VLAN settings associated with the port including tagging information, period number, priority and filtering information for tagged, untagged and unregistered frame. In the output, we see the port number displayed here from 1 to 18. In the next column, it displays filter untagged frames. This means if there are untagged frames received on this board, whether it will drop or allow. Here it is set to no. In the next column, it displays filter unregistered frames, which means that a tagged frame that contains a VLAN ID where the receiving port is not a member of that VLAN will be dropped. In this case, it's all set to yes for port number 1 to 18. Next column shows the information for PWID, which is permanent VLAN identifier. And in this case, all the ports are set to 1. The next column displays the priority, which is a 3-bit field which allows the tagged frame to carry the port priority across VLAN. This priority later becomes the user priority. This value will vary from 0 to 7. In this case, all the ports are not carrying any priority value, hence it is displayed as 0. The next column shows tagging information for the ports. If we see here, only port number 1 is tagged and rest all ports are untagged. So port number 1 will be member of multiple VLANs. That's why the tag all is enabled. The next column displays the name information for those ports, which is user configurable. The naming helps in identifying port where it is connected. In this case, it is default value set by the switch. Now, to display the port membership in VLANs, use the command show VLAN interface widths. Once this command executes, it will list down all the ports in this controller. Here, I have stopped it at 10th port by pressing the Q. Here, we see that the first column displays the port, which is from 1 to 10. And next is the VLAN, which shows that port is part of which VLAN. In the output, for this controller, we see that port number 1 is part of VLAN 1. VLAN 7, VLAN 5, VLAN 10, and VLAN 6. The third column displays the VLAN name configured for those VLAN. So here we see that VLAN number 7 is named as user and port 1 is part of that. Similarly, if we move on to port 2, we see that it is part of only one VLAN, which is 1 and is also known as default VLAN. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.